And there they all are, Asilme. My father, who you have already met, King Armoraus. He will be heading the discussions. And there is my mother, of course, who you have already met as well, Queen Arleia. Those over there are the clan Sulanta, and next to them, the clan Aelug, and next to them, clan Ilfas. We are the last of the remaining clans. The ancient war with the humans reduced us in numbers greatly. Some merged and others that refused ended up dying out long ago. Oh, yes, the Lost Clan. Well, tale has it that the Lost Clan was the one that sought to make peace with humans one last time. However, they never returned. Many thought that the clan was killed by the humans, but I think differently. And seeing you, well, I believe you may be the last living member. My father, he will help us find out if that is indeed possible. For now, I just want you to enjoy the evening with me. I mean, we'll have plenty of time to enjoy ourselves tonight. Everyone, if you would please, the feast is ready to be served. Let us go and enjoy. Ah, there he is, my old friend, Prince Idrisen. <laughs> It's good to see you again. And who, pray tell, is this fine creature? Allow me to introduce you to Mrs. Seelmay. Mrs. Seelmay, this is Prince Eluin of the Clan Eelfas that I was showing you earlier. Mrs. Seelmay is a welcome guest in our home. Miss Seelmay, huh? And a human. <laughs> Adrisen, have you gone insane? Why is she here amongst royalty? Miss Asilme is under the protection of the Galen clan. Permission granted by King Armoraus and Queen Arleia, as well as my own. Well, <laughs> it has to be said she does have quite some beauty. Even if she is a mere human. <laughs> you must be as remarkable as you look, Mrs. Seelmay, to have convinced the king to offer you protection against the royal decree. That she most certainly is, Eluen. Very interesting, indeed. So many questions. They will have to wait, Prince Eluen. We... Mustn't keep the others waiting. Mrs. Seelmay, if you would be my guest, I would love for you to try some of the best foods our cooks have prepared for tonight. Come this way. Fine, if you insist. I've got all night. Let's sit over here, near the king. Everyone, thank you for coming this eve. We gather this evening to remember what was lost, gained, and blessed with. The ancient war has left many scars upon many lives, but it's up to us to help heal those wounds. And through the darkness that our clans have faced in the past, we have emerged into the light of a new age. May our swords rust and our loyalty never wane. 
Blessed be our clans, and may fortune always smile upon us. Let us enjoy the evening feast, and Queen Arleia will host the night festivities. Well, yes, Asilme, it is quite a spread, I have to agree. I'm looking forward to showing you all our finest riches. This wine, for example, is a type of sweet berry grown in our fields. The first course is some of the fruits and breads grown and baked here. Here, try this. That's a domar. Sweet, yet sour on the back of the tongue. And then, there is this. This is made from Owadry, son. I'm sure she doesn't want to be force-fed everything at the table like a child. Miss Asilme is obviously new to the realm. As host, I only wish to have her enjoy the best we have to offer. Sure, and smothering her with boring topics is how we welcome someone to this realm, huh? <laughs> A much more interesting topic is how Miss Cecile May is able to enjoy the lovely view that's dining across from her now. Well, she is quite gifted in her own right and thus has the ability to see us. Oh, very interesting. Even to the point of our High King and Queen grounding her sanctuary. Even though... We decided that Mrs. Silme shall be given sanctuary given the current status of the portals. She shall be a representative of her kind whilst she is here. And was requiring a human representative necessary in discussing the portal's closing? I rather think that discussing the matter now would defeat the purpose of the meeting to be held later on. I'm sure your father will fill you in on the outcome of the discussions, Eluin. But for now, Let's enjoy the festivities. Queen Arleia has the evening planned out for us after dinner. As you wish, King Armoraus. That will indeed be something to enjoy, Mrs. Seelme. That is, if you feel up to going to it afterwards. I don't want to overtire you. Oh, come on. Please. Tell me you humans aren't as fragile as Adresen appears to believe. I'm sure the Queen wouldn't reconsider you attending the evening festivities, given everything you've been through tonight. Huh. Does he always treat you like a child? It is called being a gentleman, Eluin. Or, alternatively, an overprotective boar. Ah. <sighs> Excuse his manners, Mrs. Seelme. But you didn't let her answer the question. Will you be attending the festivities later, Mrs. Seelme? As you wish, then, I shall be your guide through the evening. And if you feel the evening is quite dull, you can always accompany me instead. I can ensure that you get a proper royal welcome, Mrs. Ilme. She already has a date, Eluin. Fellow Kingsman, the evening has only just begun. Queen Arleia will have more festivities waiting for you in the garden courtyard, outside. If you would please, Queen Arleia will guide everyone into the garden. My fellow kingsmen, please follow me to the council chamber, as planned. Adresen, Prince Eluin, and esteemed guest, Mrs. Siome, I do hope you enjoy the rest of the night. Now, if you would excuse me, King Armorous. 
Well, Mrs. Siome, if you are still sure you want to go to the garden. Oh my, Mrs. Siome. It must be tiring having to deal with Prince Adresen doting on you. Perhaps you would rather I show you the garden instead? Very well. Then we shall both escort you. This way. Feisty. I like you more and more by the second. I can quite see why King Armorhouse would invite you to stay. The garden. Well, when we met the king, the garden was not far from there and could be seen from the windows. Yes, that was it. In fact, a prince, Eluan, and I would often play there as young children. Yeah, and I distinctly remember you crying quite often as we played through the maze. <laughs> of course, you would get lost and turn around quite often. And I remember you cheating by using your magic to always win. <gasps> Me? I would never use our royal magic for something so trivial as cheating. Clan Ilfas does not condone using such lowbrow tactics as that. I feel that has wounded me coming from you, Adresen. I somehow doubt that. Here we are. It seems the Queen has set up some social games. And the maze is set for the evening. Did you want to walk through the maze with me? Wonderful. Then, shall we? Hey, I've just had a thought of the most wonderful game we could play. What do you say, Mrs. Siome? Would you be up for some fun? And what kind of game are you proposing? Well, I thought we might play one of the games we did as children. Reminiscing about our childhood has made me want to play hide-and-seek again. <laughs> Plus, I still doubt you would be able to beat me now any more than you did then. Hmm. I am not sure we should. I was thinking more of... Mrs. Siome, are you sure? I don't want you to overdo it after everything you... Then, it's settled. Shall we, Mrs. Siome? Hey, I've had another idea. Oh, and there it is. I knew you had something else planned, Eluan. I propose a wager between myself and Prince Adresen. Use of our magic is allowed in the maze, of course. Let me guess. In order to win, someone will have to find Mrs. Seelmay. Well, obviously we will have to escort the lovely Mrs. Seelmay to the center of the maze if we find her. Afterwards, we send a spark of our house crest into the air once we're there. I think perhaps not. Worried you'll lose? Most certainly not. But Mrs. Siome is to stay by my side. My father... Oh, I'm such a daddy's boy and such a spoiled sport. Miss Asilme is under my protection. She needs me. And here I was, thinking she was a strong and powerful human to have come across into this realm. <sighs> How about we let her decide? What do you say, Mrs. Cecilme? Ha! You see, I knew she was a good sport. So, shall we begin? We'll give you a head start and count to twenty. Wait. You haven't said what we are wagering. Oh, yeah. The wager. <laughs> Let's see. How about we wager where Mrs. Seal May shall stay whilst being a representative of her race here? Of course, 
Her protection, ruled by High King Armoraus, shall be honored by the Ilfas clan. Most certainly not. Oh, such a spoiled sport. Don't you think, Mrs. May? I'm sure, being a representative of the humans, you would need to appear to each of our clans if that is what King Armoraus has planned. I don't like this one bit. I'm not wagering that. She is not an object to be wagered as such. No one ever said she was an object. What do you say, Mrs. Seelmay? Ha! I knew it. I love her style. So, it's decided. The victor shall receive a prize of Mrs. Seelmay's choosing. Uh... We had prior plans. <sighs> Very well, if you insist, Mrs. Seelmay. Great, then let's begin. If you're sure, we'll count to twenty and then follow on after. See you soon. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.